Hello Lindhurst, it's Wednesday afternoon, late afternoon, and I'm just doing our golden ticket assembly ready for Friday. Now, um, I always ask you, where am I? I'm sure you all recognise this uh, painting. It's in my office. Behind me, I have my little goodie tray, which keeps me going. Um, but here we are, uh, ready for golden tickets. We have the box, it's full, so let's see who's been doing what. Okay. Oh, lots. Okay, first one is for Danube and it's for Dougie for a brilliant story about a cucumber turning into a monster. Dougie, I'm now going to have nightmares about having a cucumber sandwich. That's brilliant. Can't wait to read this story. Good boy, Dougie. Okay, now we're going to Ganges. And this is for Bryn. For the effort he put into his literacy learning last week, he has been applying everything that has been taught and fed back to him. I just about squeezed all of that on, Bryn. Wow, that sounds amazing. Lots of literacy learning, plus you're listening to the feedback, you're reading the feedback and you're acting upon it. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Bryn. Okay. Ooh, Alex in Zambezi. I went all because it's a larger one and it's got lots on it. For the incredibly high standard of work he is submitting every week. His fairground ride illustrations and explanations have been incredibly impressive and Miss Savides can't wait to see what he does next. Alex, this sounds absolutely fabulous and um, fairground rides, could that be a future career? You kind of designing, illustrating, making, explaining, sounds fabulous. Well done, Alex. Okay. We're going to Thames now, and this is for Max, and this is for conducting a wealth of exciting science experiments. Max, what have you been finding out? What have you been learning about through all your science experiments? And did the outcome, was the outcome of the science experiment, uh, is it what you thought would happen, or did something completely different happen? Who knows? Well done, Max. Okay, next one is for Miriam in Hudson. And this is for writing, uh, some, for some lovely writing about Vajak's escape or Vajak's escape. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that, but who is that person? Is it a person? Uh, and where did he or she or it Escape from. Miriam, I need to know more. Well done. Okay, next one. We're going to Waikato now, and this is for Ellis. And this is for your fantastic literacy work this week. You wrote some great predictions about the secret of Black Rock. What were your predictions? And is it what actually happened? Is it what you thought would happen? Well done, Ellis. Keep going with all your work. Volga now, and this is for Arthur, for producing some great work in literacy and making Miss Moon laugh out loud. Now, Arthur, I think we could all do with some laughing out loud. So um, I would really love to see some of that. Maybe you could email me some, or maybe I could ask Miss Moon to email it to me. But the fact that you've been doing something that makes her laugh out loud, absolutely brilliant. You're cheering her up as you go. Oh, I've just thought we might do some laughter yoga soon. There's a thought. Okay, going to Yara now. Peyton. Peyton, this is for working really hard with your math, even when it's tricky. And you're even teaching your mum about fractions. Miss Harwood, watch out. Sounds like Peyton is after your job. Well done, Peyton. And well done, mum, for learning about fractions. OK, this one is for Yangtze and it's for Siana for working incredibly hard with her home learning 
and showing a great amount of resilience. Siana, we hear that word a lot during our Golden Ticket Assemblies. Um, being resilient is so important at this moment in time and you're doing it. So well done, Siana. OK, we're going to Mekong now and this is for Aries. Aries, this is for doing lots of varied work at home, including some particularly fabulous animal drawings. Oh, can't wait to see them. What animals have you been drawing? And I'd love to know what other work you've been doing. Varied work. That means you're doing lots of different things. Well done, Aries. And only you won. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to Orinoco and it's for Alfie. Alfie for showing a deep understanding of the text in literacy last week. Now, Alfie, I should have been a bit more organised and checked what was the literacy last week. What was your text? Um, to work out what your deep understanding was. But obviously, Miss Saeed knows, so I'll have to ask her. But well done, because you're not, it sounds like you're not just doing the bare minimum. You're really thinking about your work, particularly for her to say deep understanding. Well done, Alfie. Good boy. Orinoco now. Oh, was that Orinoco? Yes, it was. Uh, but this is not from Miss Saeed. This is from Mrs. Pierce. And it's for India, for making such a great start on the Nessie programme. Well done, India, and keep it up. So, India, it sounds like you've made a fantastic start on that programme. Mrs Pierce has noticed, and she's very proud of you, as we all are. Keep going, India. OK, Zambezi now, and this is for Ella R. Working, oh, hang on. Oh, I think you're Mississippi. <gasps> Ella Renouf. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, this is for working so well this week with maths and literacy, but also with helping her brothers because Ella's been in school a couple of days with her brothers and you've been fantastic. I've seen that, just how caring you've been. So um, apologies if you're Mississippi. Why don't I know that? Anyway, if you're Mississippi, I will change this. If you're Zambezi, we're done. Well done, Ella. Now we're going to Niall, the other end of the school. Penelope, for doing lots of amazing drawings, piano playing, boat making, and hat designing. One, two, three, four different things all on one golden ticket. Well done, Penelope, you're being super busy. Can't wait to see the hats. Three more. Now, this is for Marley in Amazon for a brilliant video report based on the book, The Wild Robot. Well done for dressing up as well. I need to see a photo that's got to be emailed to me of you dressed up as a character from The Wild Robot. That would be amazing to see. Well done, Marley. Two more. Okay, Max in Rio Grande for going all out with his home learning and retelling parts of Harry Potter by creating games that recreate different scenes. That sounds oh, com complicated, Max. So you're retelling different parts of Harry Potter, but then you're making games that recreate different scenes. Oh, goodness. That's too much for my head on a Wednesday afternoon. But well done, Max. Really super busy. Last one, empty box. And this is for Ruri in Yarra for writing an excellent adventure for Claude the dog using exciting language and interesting ideas. So it's not a, now, it says here it's an adventure for Claude the dog, not about Claude the dog. So that's a nice little interesting take there. Looking forward to reading that adventure. OK, so that's the end of our golden tickets. Well done, all of you. Um, as always, honestly, staff members send me messages, lots of messages. Please, can I have like 10 golden tickets? We can't do 10, but we will keep doing golden ticket assemblies. And I hope you're listening and, and, and listening out for yourselves. Well done. Now, I've got a piece of paper here. It's a kind of to do list, but it's um, a reminder about something that's happening 
today because you're watching this on Friday, hopefully. Friday, the 4, 5, 6, 8th of May. It's VE Day. It's the 75th anniversary of VE Day. That's all I'm saying. Because now, over to you. What is VE Day? What does VE stand for? Um, is there somebody you can talk to about in your family about this? Maybe an older member of your family who would have possibly been around for VE Day and um, knows what it's all about. Maybe you could interview them. Maybe you could phone them or Skype them or FaceTime or anything like that. Find out what was VE Day and why, why are we celebrating it this Friday? It's a bank holiday, so why are we celebrating it this Friday? Maybe you could do a poster about it or um, some sort of interview uh, kind of piece of written work, um, maybe some illustrations about it. We would love to see that. So if you can um, do something, please do email it to your class teacher and then they'll pass it on to me and love to see that. I'm going to give you a hint. Something to do with the end of World War II. That's all you're getting. The rest, like I said, is up to you. OK, Lindhurst, I wish you all a wonderful weekend and I hope um, you're still being strong and you're still being positive. Um, like Arthur made Miss Moon laugh, I think I want to do some laughter yoga. I think we're going to do some of that at the next video. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to practice myself. My poor family are going to be doing it with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you all as soon as we can. And for now, keep going, keep resilient, keep strong, keep positive. Enjoy the sunshine because we seem to be seeing more and more of it. And um, thank you again, families, for everything you are doing. And just remember, spend time with each other. The most important thing at the moment. OK, Lindhurst, lots of love to all of you and see you real soon. Bye.